Welcome back to Explorer Electronics. In this video, let's see modern communication system, its block diagram, and also let us look at the modulation process. What is communication? Communication is just a transfer of information from one point to the other point, where we are going to exchange some information between the two points. So here you can see the two person are communicating each other here, and there is some conversation going on in between them. So here you can see a thread in between these two. This can be a wire if it is a wired communication, or it can be a ear if it is wireless communication. So these are the kind of medium we are going to use in between the two people or in between the two points for communication. So let us look at the electrical communication definition. What is electrical communication then? Again, it is a process of exchanging the information or message. transmitted from one point to other point or from one person to other person or from one place to other place but the transfer of information will be in the form of electrical signals so the transfer of information is in the form of electrical signal that's why we are calling it as electrical communication and we are going to transmit this through some communication link as i said communication link can be a ear if it is wireless communication it can be a cable if it is wired communication it can be a optical fiber if it is light so this is how we are going to communicate from one place to other place using these mediums now let us look at the block diagram generally we will be having an information source like this this information generated by a person audio or it can be any music or it can be a text message or it can be image or whatever that will be given to the processing system this processing system will be called as transmitter so there will be a transmitter this transmitter is going to do some process before transmitting and we are giving that to antenna for transmission to the longer distance this antenna is going to generate that signals in air and one more receiving antenna will be there that receives whatever the signal it is transmitted in this antenna and what the transmitter done the processing is reverse done by a receiver so here generally modulation is the process we are going to do we need to understand this modulation if modulation is have going to happen in transmitter receiver is going to do demodulation so demodulation is the process of the receiver then it will be given to the speaker to generate an audio whatever the information or the audio we have sent here will be getting over here next let us see the detailed diagram as i said we have an audio we are calling it as an information source generated by a person here we will be having a microphone this microphone will convert this audio into electrical form so electrical form of signal means like this we are going to get as a signal at the output of the transducer this will be called as transducer why because it is converting an audio into electrical form that's why it is a transducer and we are giving that to the amplifier this will increase the strength of the signal it will increase the amplitude of the signal or power amplifier if you use it will increase the power of the signal then modulation comes here is the modulator in this modulator it may do amplitude modulation or frequency modulation or phase modulation and other modulation methods we are going to adopt depending on the process of communication so let us understand this modulation in the next part of the video after the modulation what happens here the information source is of low frequency signal this will be converted into high frequency signal here so high frequency signal is the output of the modulation that will be given to the antenna what antenna will do again it will take this electrical signal convert that into radio signal radio signal means it is an electromagnetic signal so this electromagnetic signal transmitted by this antenna will be processed and transmitted through air so if it is wireless communication we are going to call this air as a channel so in this air while transmitting there might be some addition of noise signal 
this noise signal is unwanted signal added up with our information or the modulated signal in channel if it is air or if it is wire also there are some disturbances present and they are, they are going to disturb the signal so to mitigate that we are going to calculate the signal to noise ratio and there are some process we, are, we need to adapt to reduce the noise effect okay now at the receiving end we will be having one more antenna it will receive the signal we are calling it as receiving antenna here you can also call it as transmitting antenna okay this receiving antenna receives these electromagnetic waves converting into electrical form again here again it will transmit through a wire to the demodulator what this am fm pm which we have adopted in a modulator in the transmitter end will be reversed here am fm rpm the same method we are going to adopt in demodulator to convert this low frequency signal to high frequency signal what we did we used a high frequency carrier signal we used one carrier signal here to take care of this information in the modulation so that carrier frequency will be a high frequency so the same carrier is used in the demodulator also and then we have a detector detector receives the same information what we have sent at the initial stage by removing the carrier signal so detector helps in the demodulation it is a part of the demodulator and then again we will be having an amplifier to increase the strength of the signal again we can have a power amplifier or some voltage amplifier here and after that we can give that electrical signal to transducer this will convert back electrical signal to the audio or the type of information which we have sent at the initial stage this audio if you give it to the speaker we can hear the same audio which we have sent will be received at the receiver this is the general communication system he is here we need to observe from the source we will be doing some transmitting mechanism that will be called as modulation at the receiver end we will be doing demodulation and we are going to receive the same signal and this modulation and demodulation process is going to add one more signal or remove one more signal that is called a carrier signal so let us see modulation what is modulation then modulation is a process of varying one or more properties of a carrier signal what is properties first amplitude is a property of a signal frequency is a property of a signal phase is also a one of the property of a signal we can vary amplitude or frequency or phase of a carrier signal as per the message signal here there are two signals we need to observe one is the message signal this message signal can be a ac signal like this or it can be a speech varying like this by taking now this ac signal i am explaining modulation we are giving this to the modulation device as a input and this is a low frequency signal you can see this is low frequency we are giving one more signal to the modulator that is carrier signal this is having high frequency frequency of this is more we can call it as a high frequency signal so let me take this as fc this should be greater than fm of the modulator fm is the frequency of the modulator or modulating signal fc is the frequency of the carrier signal always this fc should fc should be greater than fm and then if we adopt amplitude modulation the output will be like this here you can observe the signal looking like an information source signal or the message signal what we have inside we are varying the amplitude of the carrier this is the carrier amplitude it is not same here it is varying as this varies amplitude varies so this is amplitude modulation in the frequency modulation here you can observe a constant frequency is there in a carrier signal and according according to the message signal how it is varying we are going to vary the frequencies if the amplitude is going high and then low here also we are varying the frequency of the carrier high and low this is fm similarly in phase modulation we are going to vary the phase of the signal like this this is am fm and pm so generally modulation is going to occur in the transmitter side what happens in the demodulation then again demodulator is going to take the same carrier signal which we, which we have used here and it will take this signal as input and it gives back the information signal as like this this is modulation 
and demodulation. If amplitude is varied, varied, we call it as amplitude modulation. Frequency of the carrier is varied, frequency modulation. Phase of the carrier is varied, that is phase modulation in accordance with the message signal or the modulating signal what we have. So generally it looked like this. This is a baseband signal with frequency FM or we call it as a modulating signal low frequency. This is the frequency of this signal. After the modulation we can see FC. This FC is more than FM we are using. So this signal will be called as a baseband signal or modulated signal. This get the frequency of the carrier. And then demodulation. In the demodulation also again we are going to use the same carrier and get back our message signal or modulating signal which is having the frequency FM. And clearly if you observe the FM stations, if you know FM, if you regularly listen to FM and the frequencies are like 91.1 megahertz, similarly 92.7 megahertz and 93.5 megahertz like this. What are these? These are the carrier frequencies those channels are using. Using 91.1 megahertz carrier signal, they are going to transmit their audio mixing with the carrier. So if we tune this to 91.1 megahertz in our receiver, receiver in the sense in our radio or in our uh, mobile radio. If we tune it to 91.1 megahertz, it means we are providing the carrier of same frequency what they have used in the modulation to the demodulator are at the receiver so that we can get back the audio. So these FM stations numbers are specifying the carrier frequency itself. This is about the modulation and demodulation. You can observe here the different communications, radio astronomy, satellite communication, this is also satellite communication, television, mobile phones and also television, some short radio and navigation and uh, marine are uh, undersea navigations. So this varies with respect to the wavelength and frequencies. The very high frequency used in the satellite communication it is 300 gigahertz where the wavelength is very less. You can see here wavelength is more in the marine navigation where the frequency is very less. 3 kilohertz is the frequency used here. Here in the satellite communication 300 gigahertz is the frequency. Very high frequency is used. So Radio communication comes in between. You can see over here, this is what the radio and FM transmitter is. So FM will be, as I said, it is around uh, 88 megahertz to some 108 megahertz like that. So that is the FM radio or short radio service will be having less frequency. So these values are specifying the carriers we are going to use, carrier frequencies for those communications. This is about the communication system and few concepts of communication. Let us see more details on communication in the next video. Thank you.